after a certain point, um, his, his allegiance to, to this obviously misleading faith was irreversible. He had made so many sacrifices. First of all, um, he, he um, gave up a brilliant career. He gave up his country because he um, had, unlike some spies, uh, he had some scruples about, about spying on his country, about stealing documents from the State Department, about um, writing uh, memos about his colleagues for, for the KGB. He had scruples, but he did it. Um, and and um, when the opportunity to leave the country and to leave this, this uncomfortable situation that he was in at the State Department, he took that opportunity, he went to Europe, he worked for the League of Nations, and his assignment, you mentioned the Spanish Civil War, which really was the hinge event, not only for Noel Field, but for an entire generation, right. because it was the first time that, that uh, there was an opportunity for the Western democracies to do something other than talk about fascism, but to actually fight fascism. And, and again, those communists, um, like Arthur Kessler and Edmund Wilson and, and, uh, and Whitaker Chambers and others, whose faith was, uh, was flagging by now because of uh, what they were hearing about what was going on in, in uh, the court of Stalin, um, they, they again um, rejoined the cause because the U.S. was so shamefully absent from, from the anti-fascist uh, battle. And again, another parallel today. We were at a time of a maximum need for us to take in refugees, uh, principally Jews fleeing fascism, but not Now we're going uniquely. to the World yeah. War II. Right. Yes, but this is already starting in the 30s. Right. Um, the U.S. tightened its quotas against refugees. And this was appalling for, for an idealist like Noel Field. And again, it fueled his, his, uh, the flame of his, of his faith. 